Give us Versace, it's yeah. right there. Oh, booked, God. booked, booked. Well, at least for me. Period, 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 period. We brought together seven runway models. I'm a runway model. 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 One of them is a liar. If the group discovers who the liar is, they will split a cash prize. If the liar survives, they win the entire prize. Who is the odd one out? Is any of us signed here to an agency, manager, anything like that? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. For how long? I'm coming, it's almost four. If I was like, am, am I a runway model? Am I a model? These, these other people are gorgeous. They're beautiful. I mean, Ty, I'm pregnant already. Did you ever think that maybe there's more to life than being really, really, really ridiculously good looking? How tall are we? I'm five, six and a half. I'm five, ten. I'm five, five and a half. Okay. I'm five, nine. I'm six foot. Six, two. Wow. Five nine. Just want to say immediately, I'm kind of sus of both of you just for being a little on the shorter side. I'm five nine and I've been kicked out of shows for being too short. I think it's a difference on the runway you do. If it's like super high fashion Milan, New York, sometimes yeah, they're yeah. much more strict. It's catered to everyone these days yeah. and I'm like happy that I get to like... You got the face. Yeah. It's yeah, not about know. height. Like, <laughs> come on. <laughs> But also, I, I don't think it really matters on the face anymore nowadays either. I think it just really relies on your inner confidence, what you bring to the table. I, feel like I mean, you can be pretty, but also there are many people who, you know, aren't necessarily pretty to other people. She was a little bit shorter, which doesn't really mean anything, but for me, that was like red flags. Good luck, y'all. <laughs> it's that face, honey. It's the face, honey. Talk about face is not important. Yes, it is. Yes. Give us the beats. Where? Okay. Ooh. Absolutely. Ooh. Okay, no. Ooh. All opinions canceled. Shardy can walk. Personally, I think I have the best walk. <laughs> Go, 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 go. Giving us LA models. <laughs> giving us vision modeling agency. Hey, boom, 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 boom. I didn't think my walk was too good. I definitely let nerves get the best of me. Boom, 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 boom. They're gonna roast me on this song. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, okay. Giving us elegance. Give us Versace, it's right there. Booked, booked, booked. Well, at least for me. Period, 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 period. Yes, absolutely. Let's talk shows. What yeah. shows have we been in? Um, I did, uh, like, a, it was called Cornet Fashion Week. It was like oh, about, okay, for sure. Yeah. So we're both, mm -hmm. we're good. <laughs> um, yeah, so I did Cornet Fashion Week beginning of November. I walked for five designers, actually four, because I got kicked out of one of the shows. See, it's not always about the booking. <laughs> no, cause I'm saying because I wasn't tall enough. Like, it literally. I'm from Las Vegas, so we literally have a mall called yes, Fashion Show mall. mall. That's right. So I that's where I got my yes, start. Same girl. And so, like, I've done, like, Macy's, Dillard's, Dillard's Nordstrom. Mm. I wanted to give Sasha the chance. You might not be a typical runway model, but you said you do Macy's and Dillard's, and that's kind of like very, almost like geriatric modeling, like anybody can do it. Like a grandma could walk those runways. So I was like, cool, that's runway experience though. If you guys are ever there, go check it out, it's cool. Definitely I mean, would. I didn't really realize it was like mall modeling, but if it's a yeah. mall yeah. modeling gig, it's kind of the they best one. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I've been in a few auditions um, or castings for uh, some runway shows. My biggest like, casting, I was like kind of shocked because they were like, NDA, NDA was for Gucci. Oh, and they were yeah. like, they wanted to see me. I was just like, yeah. you want to see me. Okay, this but see like, me. I mean, again, I probably didn't book it because. My first show was uh, in New York in 2017. This Milan I believe. You can stop talking, we all believe you. <laughs> and uh, the last show I walked was, well, I guess I did Cornet Fashion Week as well too, oh, yeah. but Three the real, girl. my like last like big one was I walked for uh, Kappa in Milan. Ah, Ooh. also I believe it. Okay. Yeah. We have to talk because I'm going to Milan soon. Do you guys she think that this would be based on a technicality? Because we all seem like we have some runway experience. 
I mean, not to be a bit bold, but I think Aisha's sus. Me? Yeah. yeah. Oh. I was gonna say the same thing. I feel bad. Just it's the height for me. I just like since I've been kicked out and I'm like five nine. Your walk is incredible though. Like yeah. insane. <laughs> Regardless, she needs to be bucked. <laughs> Her story seemed a bit choppy and it kind of was a bit back and forth. Yes, there are opportunities for shorter runway models, but I don't think that there is many opportunities and I don't think that it's a standard yet. Like anyone can practice a walk and make it look good. To be 5'5 five, five and do runways, definitely challenging. I love you, girl. <laughs> Please raise your hand if you want to continue playing the game. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. Starting now, for every time all of you vote out someone who is not the mole, the total prize money will be reduced. Oh, shoot. I mean, I, I only wanted to keep playing because I wanted to keep playing. I think we yeah. found the mole. Look at you! Oh, <laughs> oh, and then now we're getting um, deducted because what's been, I know, what's I didn't, been I didn't see that experience. second part. Like, like, I found it really like hard in this industry because I feel like they still have very like white stand beauty standards. Mm -hmm. Like there's just like the bringing your own makeup to set. People like, I never come to, with my hair natural because I'm always afraid right. that they won't know what to do with it. And I've had such a different like juxtaposition now that I kind of have made the decision for myself that I was going to show up as myself. And so the natural hair is just non-negotiable. I do think that there's a lot of other perspectives that we also aren't seeing. When it comes to runway, I think runway is the most traditional that's like holding on to all of its old ways. Like oh, the skinny, God. it's like, it's literally catching up last like yeah. so i don't know who else it's would you guys think that the like mole that. is since everybody else chose to keep playing i did not yeah you did right. uh, i forget I who's signed i'm signed to an agency who are you with everyone i'm with in focus model i'm with la models okay i'm with nomad management uh ferrari talents a commercial and then i have a mother agent in new york I'm with Ferrari mm, Talent no yeah. too. Yes. It really doesn't matter as long as yeah. you get to the casting, you guys. Yeah, yeah, really. Any worst experiences? Any like bad experiences that you like want to share? At first, when I started doing runway, I didn't. I hated it because we all know like the pay is not good for runway. When I was in Thailand, like my Uber to get to the casting and then to get home and then to get to the show was more than I was making for the show. I struggled a lot with just like feeling beautiful and like trying to like project. Like I have a loved one who's incarcerated. So it's been kind Same. of one of those things where they can only get pictures. Mm -hmm. So I've been kind of able to share like my My journey, journey. my whole life. Yeah, because that's all they can get. Mm -hmm. So it's been kind of like, that's what kind of keeps me going. It's like, why do you put yourself through this? Well, it's like that. I'm documenting like my life, mm -hmm. literally. Mm -hmm. And so I think that there's no other mole. I'm going to be real. I've yeah, said that so this whole either. round, yeah. but you know. I just wanted to keep playing and I kind of started <laughs> a little away competitive. Yeah, but... <laughs> no, like... We counted all the votes and we have a tie. The Kura and Sasha. Each of you has 20 seconds to state your case. So, like I said, I'm from Vegas, so fashion show malls where I got my start. I love modeling, I love runway, even though it challenges me. It's that connection, it's that, you know, being able to share it with a loved one that really drives it for me. I've been modeling for four years since I was 16. I have done a lot of traveling for modeling. I've been to Beijing, um, Thailand. I've met with agencies in Tokyo. I've been to New York. I've been to Mexico City here, obviously. Um, I've been with agencies in Miami. I like, I, I've been in this industry for a long time. No. And that is my secret. Please do not tell anyone. Oh, right now? Oh, I'm sorry. I uh, didn't have my glasses on, which coincidentally are from Warby Parker, today's sponsor. Warby Parker is committed to providing exceptional vision care online and in stores, offering eyeglasses, sunglasses, eye exams, and contact lenses. What is special about Warby Parker is just how easy it is to find the right pair of glasses. After answering just a few questions online, Warby Parker will actually suggest glasses that fit your face and your style. Try Warby Parker's free home try-on program. Order five pairs of glasses to try at home for free for five days. There's no obligation to buy. It ships for free and includes a prepaid return shipping label. 
for every pair of glasses sold, Warby Parker actually distributes a pair of glasses to someone in need. Again, try five pairs of glasses at home for free at warbyparker.com slash Jubilee. Now enjoy the video. Raise your hand if you want to continue playing the game. If the lights turn green, that means you have voted the mole out. If the lights turn red, that means the mole is still in the box and you lose. Now, can the mole please step forward and reveal themselves? In three, two, one. I knew it. Y'all shouldn't have voted for me. Sasha was the, the tallest one there, and she was great. And she had a great walk, and she looks awesome, so she would have been either my last or my second to last pick. I think my height saved me, honestly. There is that still like the preconceived notion of what a model looks like. And I think that this episode really emphasizes that we do have a long way to go. I definitely believe that she could model, but the walk was a little off for me. I didn't believe that you were the mole solely because I actually believe in people. So to, I think, conflate the like doing it because of your loved one that's incarcerated is extremely offensive. And so that was something that I just wouldn't have stooped as low as to do. And so that's, wow. I do really have a loved one who's incarcerated. I don't do runway. But like, I, and I'm sorry that you felt that way because I didn't think like that because it was like in my mind, that's still so true to my story and like of who I am. And like, Why I do, do send this? photos to my dad, you know, and keep him up to date. I just have never been on a runway. That's not her story, it's her father's story. And so the way that we share about incarcerated people has to be considered. I do uh, take photos. I love doing photo shoots. I've never been paid for a gig before. Like I kind of just do it because I find it fun. And I found that as I take photos, like I'm able to share them with my loved one. And it's been kind of like our fun way of communicating, you know, and he's getting a glimpse of the outside world and he's seeing what I'm working on. So like that is very true and it wasn't like a made up story at all. I, the only thing was, is just, I'm not a runway model, I guess. How does it feel to win? It feels great. I'm still in shock, honestly. What's the most common question someone asks you when they learn your triplet? Uh, dick size. Dick size. Yeah. yeah. Oh Are you serious? Yeah. 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 We are triplets. 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 I feel bad now though. <laughs> Like, I feel so bad.